tiredness can creep in differently. If you've slept, if you've slept, if you've done a few nights on the tour bus, or if you've gone to bed too late, or you've had an early flight and it kind of buckles the week, I can, I can compensate now because I know if a song feels slow, I sometimes, I sometimes know that 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 can be tiredness. So you have to account for that. Um, that's also, you know, you can't take medication that makes you drowsy. Uh, I don't, I don't drink at all now before I go on stage. You know, I may have over the years had one beer, but, but I've found not drinking at all does definitely have a fresh effect. And it also makes that one when you come off all the better. <laughs> but, um, secrets, secrets of the trade. Um, I tell you, I tell you what's most important to me now is headspace before you go on just having that time to just think put your clothes on not rush around i mean the only time you end up rushing around is when you have guests at a gig and someone phones and says i can't get in that's stressful but that happens but i still try and account to have a bit of time to myself get excited about it realize we're doing a big gig you know it's it's uh, that's every time i go on stage every night i still get that buzz of excitement I don't get hugely nervous anymore, but I think that's just experience. If you do something for long enough, um, that, that probably goes, I guess, for anybody, I would have thought. I went on stage once and there was a problem with the in-ears. So, no click track. But the track started. I'm panicking. My heart is here. And... I said to the bass player, I've got no click, and he very cleverly said, watch me. And the, the monitor guy gave the bass player the click, so he just went like this. <laughs> so, I just had, so I just played open kit, all I could hear was brass and drums, and he was there doing this, keeping me in time, which was brilliant, and I have to thank him for that. But those things can happen, you know, we're all human, and technical things do happen. We did a gig once where the whole PA went off due to some fault and I've been on a gig in Mexico with James where the desk blew up just before we went on. So things happen, but how you recover from those is the most important thing. And once they've happened, you feel like you're invincible. Like, well, anything can, you can deal with anything, you know. It's only a show. You just got, it's about not panicking. It's like when you drop a stick, which I don't do that much of it, snap a stick. I was in the middle of Let Me Entertain You and I went round the kit, there's like a, a bit of a drum solo at the end. And of course, first beat of the drum solo, the stick snaps in half. I'm like, why now? Why have you waited till now to snap? But it did. So Fred has put um, a stick holder here and one over here. So I was round the kit at the time, it snapped. So I kept one hand and pulled one out. It looked pretty cool, but if I hadn't got them in place from previous experience, I've been searching around the floor doing a solo with one hand and I'm not body rich. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, we've got all angles covered now, and I feel like I feel like I've done enough to sort of take on anything that comes your way. Hopefully, there's not anything too too surprising coming up. But yeah, there's uh, another great story I must tell you. I did the Paleo Festival with James Blunt uh, a couple of years ago, and for the last song, for some reason, I think the joke was on me, but I had to put this sequin space suit on backstage for the encore so everyone's cheering I'm putting on this suit and then I ran up the ramp of Paleo and there's lots of people on the stage watching but it was so slippy that I just slipped and went rolling down the ramp in this sequin spacesuit and uh, everybody just was laughing so hard that I just went up to play uh, what song was it I think it was 1973 in a space that was covered in mud and all sorts, but it was just, it was just a funny moment. I had to laugh at myself. 